Wow, that's the beauty. Oh, yeah. Here goes somebody. This is the pirate's map to the treasure chest. It's the breaks of northern Sumatra on the surf charter Jiwa, local style. Jiwa, a 76-foot traditional Indonesian sailing ship, left the Porta Sabolga in northern Sumatra and sailed overnight to one of the most remote places on Earth, the Banyak Islands. The Banyaks are 99 small islands off northern Sumatra. There's lots of breaks, including the shifty left-hander. On one of the first days of the trip, we're at um, Turtles. The Indonesian name is Pinu Point, it's just basically translates to turtles. It's a, it's a swell magnet, it means that it magnifies any available swell that's going, so it picks up the most swell. Then Jiwa headed south to the next chain of islands, the swell-sucking Hinakos. The area was first discovered in the 70s. There's Lagundri, Asu, and of course, Bawa. Bawa, it's a super deep ocean reef break. It's been referred to as an Indonesian version of sunset. Surfing terms, deep water basically means that there's lots of water between you and reef. And relatively to all the other surf breaks in Indonesia, they're usually super shallow. And now we're heading south towards the Tellos and the Mentawa. Where are we going right now? Secret spot. Every treasure map or every pirate's map, you've always got to have a spot X <laughs> where the bounty and the gold is. This is a rare fickle beast that hardly ever breaks, so I was super surprised this morning when we, we just come around the corner of this little island and the left that's usually a bit wobbly and weird, some reason the swell direction and light winds and the tides must have been perfect. Super dream session went down, everyone scored and got heaps of waves. Stop. Uh, missions or churches, as it's known, it's pretty trippy actually. You're sitting off this little island and surfing a left hand there, which is super fun. And there's a church behind you, and then in the foreground on an island, off in the distance on the horizon line, there's also it's a little left that just wraps and wraps and bends around this little corner of a reef off the island. It's a super sick little wave. Burn Point is nearly a classic. Some marching right hand setup. It's a really, really good quality right hand point break. It's got, it's got barrel sections. It's got fast running walls. It's also got cutback sections and hitable waves. It's not a world class wave, but it's definitely a really, really good quality right hand point break. Good. There's no boats around. There's, it's just us at the moment, and we've got a little late frame breaking right there. Whoa. Skate park in the most southern tip of the Tello Island chain. There's a super mechanical, super, super fun little hot dog wave. It's perfect from one to five feet. It breaks in the same spot every time. And all levels of surfers, just, just everyone seems to have a really, really good time out there. EPs or mini trestles, perfect little A-frame peak. It's got like a long, hot dog right hander off it. Yeah, it's a perfect A-frame wave in a perfect location. His friends and fans affectionately call him the Gov or Huge, aka Eugene Tollmarsh. He's the former